you thought the movement for Black Lives Matter was over, think again. I'm Keith Boykin here in Lower Manhattan where I've been riding all day with protesters and demonstrators who have been expressing their support for Black Lives Matter. Today's event was a black women's ride that started at the African Burial Ground National Monument at 3 p.m. with a rally at 4 and a bike ride at 5.30. By 7.30, they had reached Times Square. Hundreds of protesters have literally closed down Times Square for Black Lives Matter. Riding my bicycle right now through Midtown Manhattan with the demonstrators who are marching or cycling, I should say, for Black Lives Matter. The cyclists are now going down 9th Avenue and we're at 34th Street. And you can see the Empire State Building in the background. This has been going on for quite some time now. Cyclists have now reached Chelsea and we're heading downtown uh, on the demonstration route. Not sure where we're going, but kind of follow along. March or demonstration, so there's no sign of stopping. If a man doesn't get it, shut it down. If a man doesn't get it, shut it down. If George doesn't get it, shut it down. If Ray Sean doesn't get it, shut it down. If Sandra doesn't get it, shut it down. The cyclists have now moved on to the West Side Highway and they have shut it down uh, in their protest for Black Lives Matter. This continues all the way, apparently, down to Lower Manhattan and I'll be following along. It's been a long day of cycling and the demonstration has finally come to an end today. We're at the southern tip of Manhattan and I have three of the organizers for today's uh, rally, march, demonstration, protest, uh, cycling event. I got thrusted into this movement because one of my friends got murdered by the police uh, in 2012. His name is Elwood White. His murderer never got any uh, sort of punishment. He never got fired. He never got put on desk duty. He's still on the beat to this day. Um, so I just want to bring light to my homie that got murdered and all the other people that continues to get murdered every single week. It's taken 400 years to, um, to get to this point. You can't tell us that we should get over it in a day or so. And we're not gonna get over it until you actually start, um, you know, until you start paying attention to the issues that affect black people. Every Saturday we're out riding, we're protesting. It's um, for the better cause related to black lives. There's a lot of energy today, a lot of people, a lot of movement, a lot of excitement. Hundreds, maybe thousands of people uh, cycling their bikes through the streets of Manhattan, taking over the streets, stopping traffic. There was very little, I don't think, if any, police interference throughout the entire time. Uh, and so no violence. It was just a peaceful day of protest for people to uh, be out here and express their support for Breonna Taylor, for George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey and so many others whose names are called out today during this demonstration. I'm Keith Boykin in Lower Manhattan. Show Trump what democracy looks like! This is what democracy looks like! Show Trump what community looks like! This is what community looks like! Show Trump what diversity looks like! This is what diversity looks like!